talking about Frank. I'm talking about character. I'm talking about... Oh, Leo, I ain't embarrassed to use the word. I'm talking about ethics. I've been watching the films of Joel and Ethan Cohen for a long time, and I've got to say, I'm still not sure where these brothers stand. From one movie to the next, they seem to waver between two ways of looking at the world. Some of their movies are nearly nihilistic laments over the apparent meaninglessness of the universe and the inexplicable existence of evil, while others offer surprising literal grace notes, moments when even their most beleaguered characters are granted a reprieve and get a taste of human flourishing. I'm Josh Larson, editor and film critic at Think Christian. We're a faith and pop culture media ministry, and we like to say there's no such thing as secular. That's especially true when it comes to the films of the Coen brothers. Their movies are sometimes explicitly religious, but even when they're not, they're still interested in spiritual questions of morality, sin, chaos, and redemption. Often, one movie will seem to see the world through a hopeful lens, then the next will throw up its arms in comic despair. Sometimes a Coen Brothers movie is a provocative mixture of both. Here's another way of thinking about this. Some are Old Testament films and some are New Testament films. To be clear, I think Christian, we understand the Bible as one coherent story. So seeing things as New Testament or Old Testament can be a bit reductive. But I do think that framework is also helpful when you're exploring the spiritual tenor of the Coen Brothers filmography. Here's what I mean. Some of their films chronicle the limitations of the law. Our inability to keep it, its inability to constrain evil. That's similar to what we see in the Old Testament. Then other movies of theirs demonstrate the way unmerited grace can step in to fulfill the law for us. And that's the message of the gospel as personified by Jesus Christ in the New Testament. So which movies are which? Well, I'm hoping you can help me decide by being part of the TC Movie Club. Here's how that's going to work. I've chosen four Coen Brothers films to watch and discuss as a group under this Old Testament, New Testament framework. Fargo, O Brother, Where Art Thou?, No Country for Old Men, and True Grit. We're calling this inaugural edition of the TC Movie Club, naturally, O Brothers, Where Art Thou? I'll be making a video essay for each film, arguing that it should be thought of as either Old Testament or New Testament. Movie Club members will have time to watch the video and revisit the movie, Then we'll gather online for a live Q&A and debate. So that's four videos, four discussions, all over the next couple of months. How do you join? That's easy. You can sign up to be part of the TC Movie Club at thinkchristian.net slash movie club. Everybody is welcome. Once you've signed up, we'll be in touch via email with all the details. Now, over the past couple of months, I've been revisiting the entire Coen Brothers filmography And I think this is going to be a rich and rewarding experience. By its end, hopefully we'll have a better appreciation for their films, but also a deeper understanding of both Testaments and the Bible as a whole, as one coherent story, God's grand story, a story that reframes all of our lives. So I hope you'll join me as we search the Coen Brothers films to see what we can discover together.